Welcome back to my channel. I'm gonna keep this video short and sweet, but the reason you guys are all here are to check out my swatches of the new Kat Von D Saints and Sinners palette. Now, even though it is September, every holiday release ever seems to have launched this month, and I do feel really bad for our wallets. So what I thought I would do is pick up the palette and swatch it for you guys. Now we had a ton of debate on my Instagram. If you don't follow me there, my username is Karen underscore Harris underscore makeup. I'll put it right here and I will link it in the description box, so check it out. But I usually post a lot of new makeup launches on there as well as my makeup of the day, outfit of the day, whatever I'm doing. We're traveling soon, so if you're interested in seeing all those personal updates, definitely follow me on Instagram. Anyway, talked a lot about the Saints and Sinners palette on my Instagram account. I do have the Kat Von D Metal Matte palette. I talk about that quite a bit as well on my channel and how I kind of regret buying it because I don't really ever use it and it's a very cool tone palette. So when I saw the Saints and Sinners preview, it kind of gave me Metal Matte meets Mavita Loca palette like combined because they're like the same colors and then the bright sinner colors So this literally just popped into My house in the mail and I haven't even opened the box yet. So I'm gonna unbox this on my channel And this palette did launch on Tuesday, which was, what, the 19th of September. And today is the 21st, so I did get two-day shipping from Sephora. Um, I did get some samples as well, and they do a really good job of packaging. So here is all the paper that came with it. I also picked up the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye. This is new, I believe, from them, and this is a smooth brightens and deep puffs so I'm always on the hunt for a good eye cream and this is a travel size which is really exciting actually this is such deceptive packaging look at this so this is how much you actually get in here this is just a plastic like extra that's so crap that's hilarious wow it cosmetics you really had me fooled there for a second I was like look at all that eye cream they just gave me <laughs> not a chance okay anyway I'm going to put this in my bag for Texas because I was actually like, what am I going to use as an eye cream because I'm not going to take my drunk elephant with me. Throw that box out of the way. Here is the big kahuna. Now, this isn't as obnoxious as the metal matte palette. That one was like thin and long. I don't know why I didn't grab it, but that's fine, whatever. I'll show it to you guys when I review this palette. We're just going to do swatches today really quick. I see it's vegan nine month shelf life. I don't know if it has a nine month shelf life because it's vegan. I've noticed that a lot in the Kat Von D palettes nowadays, they don't seem to have a very long shelf life. Anyway, this is the back of the packaging. Super cute. I love this box, you guys, the detail. Honestly, with her, it's like, she never skips a beat when it comes to the packaging, which is not the reason you should buy a palette. For God's sake, you have some kind of weird stained glass obsession. I guess you could. Yeah, here we go. Oh my God, Betty, look at this. It's so beautiful. And then it just opens, I believe, like this. And there, oh my gosh, okay. Hold on, hold on. You ready? You ready? Ah, ah, ah. There it is. There she be. It's not as awkward as the last palette, but really strange. It's got two little mirrors on either side here and it is honestly beautiful and I swear it definitely reminds me of like a little bit of the Mavita Loca and a little bit of the Metal Mats palette so there it is take a good look at it I almost want to do one side each so yeah let's do Saints on one hand and then Sinners on one hand I do have my Trusty Makeup Wipes on deck here from the brand Neutrogena. I actually just picked this up because I didn't have one of these plastic tubs for in my beauty room. And honestly, guys, these tubs are a freaking game changer because I don't think the re-sticky on these are very sticky. So if you want a life hack, makeup wipe storage tub because what I do is just, I just buy the refills or any other kind of wipe and then I just cut it open and then I just do that. 
and it seals it. It's airtight so they don't dry out, which I think is obviously important. Okay, I'm so excited. Let's go. Okay, first color is called Absolution, and it's a beautiful, like, white shimmer shade. So I'm going to go on this side first. This one is definitely, like, a shimmer, but it doesn't have a very white base to it. It's more like a glitter, like a topper, I think she calls these. I definitely saw this type of shadow in the, what is the all shimmer palette? There was the all matte palette and now there's an all shimmer palette. It looks a lot like one of the shades in there. Then we have the shade Worship and Immaculate. There are some finger swatches. Worship is a pretty purple, almost has like a sheen to it right there, if you can see that. And then Immaculate is a beautiful army green with a flip in it as well. I feel like you can see that on camera. And then we have Chalice. These are all very holy names. If you guys are church going folk, I don't know how you'll feel about these names. I personally don't care that much because it's just an eyeshadow palette. If you're gonna get up in arms about it, you know, that's on you. And then Sacred Heart. Isn't that, and I'm Catholic, so I'm ashamed to admit this, but isn't Sacred Heart another word for Jesus? I'm not sure. So this is a beautiful coral shade. That was the weird thing about this palette. I was like, am I gonna know what to do with this palette? Like, I'm a makeup connoisseur, but this is like a whole nother puzzle, you know? And I definitely prefer the center side, which probably means I'm going to hell. <laughs> so pray for me, guys, because I clearly need all your prayers. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Please don't like freak out about my sense of humor. Okay, then we have a beautiful matte. This is gonna be a matte brow shade. And then we have Sanctuary. We have a shade called Heaven, Crucifix, and then Cathedral, which is gorgeous. Okay, so here is Amen. It's just a matte uh, brow bone highlight color. What would you call that, like a bone color? And then we have Sanctuary, which is a pretty brown. It's got a sheen to it. I don't think it's very shimmery. I don't really necessarily like that color. Um, Kat Von D also has a liquid lipstick called Sanctuary. If you guys didn't know that, it's a little fun fact for you. This silver shade called Heaven is very glittery and, I don't know, not the most pigmented, so make of that what you will. Then there is a really matte brown shade called Crucifix. So there it is right there. And then the last shade is Cathedral, which look really pretty. This one looks like one of those lid toppers as well. It is very, very sparkly and pigmented. So there are the swatches so far. I'm literally in the middle of packing for our trip. And I was like, I have to film this video. I want to get this video up. I think people will really enjoy this video. So that is what I am doing tonight. And then we have two more colors on the Saint side, two pink shades. We have Rosary and Baptism. I can just see the Catholic Church having a heart attack right now over this palette. So here are the swatches. This is the Saint side. To me, these shades, guys, not cohesive one bit. Like, I look at these and I'm like, these are all colors I would never freaking wear. I think most of them are actually really ugly. I do like the pink shades. This shade Cathedral is very beautiful. It's like a gunmetal with almost like some purpley sparkles in it. It's very, very pretty. And then I like that first shade called Absolution, a white, like a bone colored base with like gold sparkles in it, like bigger chunks of glitter. But everything else is just blah. <laughs> Seeing swatches I think will definitely give you guys an idea of whether you will actually wear this palette. I like to see static pictures of swatches, but honestly, until you see it on somebody with a similar skin tone, my God, I can't talk today, similar skin tone to you, it is so, so hard to decide if it's gonna work for you. And personally, I'm not a makeup expert, but I would say if you're a beginner, I don't, I don't think you would know what the hell to do with this palette. And it's $62, I believe, so. I would maybe start with a different palette if you're a makeup beginner. Now we're going to switch to the center side and there is a beautiful shade here, the first one, which is called Rapture. Holy shit, look at it. It's so pretty. It's like a duochrome. <sighs> it's 
so pretty. Oh my god. It's so unfair that the sinners have like all these cool colors. So let me just swatch all four of the shades that I put on my fingers. Now this is my kind of color palette. You guys know I'm a whore for these shades. So the black one is called Sabbath, which is basically the, isn't that the day of rest? I don't know why I'm acting like I'm new. I went to Catholic school and I still can't tell you what half these mean. So now this is a really patchy, shitty black shade. I'm gonna try and build it up, but you guys, I swatched the ColourPop Yes Please palette and that $16 palette has a bomb black shade in it. This one I think is really pooey. This Asha shade is a beautiful army green, but it has like flecks of green glitter in it. You can barely sashy on my skin tone, so as beautiful, like I would love to wear that color like in clothing, but as far as that color goes, I don't know where the hell I would use it because it's really not very flattering on my skin tone. Here is the shade Mar- uh, is it M Martyr? Martyr? M-A-R-T-Y-R. -R. I don't know how to say that. I'm sorry. This is like a pukey, poopy brown color. It's right here. You can barely see it on my skin tone. And then this next shade is Devil. I don't know why she had to name this shade Devil, but holy moly. I love me some good oranges, some good pukey brown shades, so I am down for that. Overall, on this side, so far, I'm impressed with three of the five shades that I've swatched. So far guys, I'm not down to recommend this to you. I'm a little bit bummed because I want to like Kat Von D as a brand. I think she's got some pretty good morals as far as being like cruelty free and her products are pretty creative, but mm, I don't know. These colors are a little more redeeming. <laughs> Sticking with that church theme. Oh, I got one more finger that I can swatch on. So here we go. So this brown shade is called Revelations. That's a book in the Bible in case anyone cared. There it is. It's a matte brown with a lot of gold shimmer in it and it looks like the gold shimmer will fall off. So all you're left with is that eyeshadow shade. And then we have this beautiful like teal color. Honestly, I feel like this teal is like the famous one that's in all the Too Faced holiday palettes. So I don't feel like this is anything unique. And then a beautiful peacock like blue called Ministry. And you guys, these are so flaky. I don't know. They're not smooth. They're very... I'll show you my palette once I'm done swatching. So that's a beautiful shade as well. But again, nothing really unique. This neon green is called Ex Exodus. See, like... I was hoping to get like Urban Decay electric palette vibes from this, but I'm really not getting that from these swatches at all. And then the last shade is Exorcism, which is like a matte purple right there. And again, she also has a liquid lipstick in the shade Exorcism, which I actually happen to own. Not because I think Exorcisms are cool, uh, it's because it's a beautiful dark burgundy shade and I wanted a dark liquid lipstick and Kat Von D was one of the first liquid, lips, lip, liquid lipstick formulas that I tried, so I do own that shade. And then the last two colors are Relic and Stigmata, which are the colors of Gryffindor, if you guys are Harry Potter nerds like I am. So let me swatch those. Those swatch freaking beautifully. So here is the Saint and Sinner palette, all swatched on my tan tan skin. Actually, I'm not that tan right now, but my summer shade in NARS is Tahoe. Yes, it's Tahoe. And then um, my Fenty Beauty shade, which I'm actually wearing right now, is 370, which I love, the Fenty foundation. Um, so here, again, are the swatches. I'm going to go ahead and hold my hands up for a little bit longer. <laughs> Anyways, I hope you guys found this video useful or somewhat useful. Hopefully, if you have been meaning to pick up this palette, this gave you some incredible information. Maybe you watched this video and decided you really need this palette or you really don't need this palette. Definitely let me know in the comments down below. I know my friend Kat is on a no buy right now and some people are on a low buy and we're all trying to just make it through the holidays. So I get it. I support all of you in whatever you know path you're on whether it's to buy every eyeshadow palette on the planet or to save your coin but yeah let me know if you're planning on picking up this palette overall I do love the idea of this I don't know that I'm gonna get a ton of use out of this palette 
I don't even know if I'm gonna keep this palette yet. I really do like the thinner side, but you guys know I already have all of these colors. Like, this is not anything new. Like I said on my Instagram post, is very confusing. This to me does not scream, oh, I know exactly what to do with this palette. There's some shades that really scream to me, but other shades I'm like, I don't know what to do with that. So yeah, we'll see. I will maybe do a get ready with me or try to film a tutorial with this. Let me know what you guys' thoughts and I'm gonna end this video. Thank you so much for watching guys. Have a great day. Bye.